Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Uh, the um, gospel of today is uh, uh, very important because uh, here in the gospel, uh, our Lord teaches the so-called Lord's Prayer or the Our Father. So he's talking to our to his Father. <clears throat> By the way, uh, I remember in a class, um, my mga bata, at um, yung teacher po ay uh, nangangaral tungkol sa uh, Holy Trinity. At uh, tinanong um, class, um, alam ba ninyo kung ano ang pangalan ng uh, uh, first person in the Trinity. First person in the Trinity. Well, um, of course, the answer would be uh, God the Father. Pero may batang nagsabi, Mom, sabi niya, ang pangalan po ay si Harold. Harold, sabi ng teacher. Uh, bakit mo sinabing Harold? Kasi po, Father, ay Mom, Hindi ba sinasabi sa Our Father? Our Father, who art in heaven, Harold be thy name. So, sabi niya, so Harold ang pangalan. Of course, he meant hallowed. Hallowed meaning, holy be thy name. Pero, well, anyway, uh, that is only uh, a funny story. Well, the Lord's Prayer it's very important because Jesus himself taught us. And the other reason is uh, it contains the four essential forms of prayer. And this is um, summed up in the word uh, or acronym ACTS. I think you've heard of uh, this. A-C-T-S, ACTS. Uh, why acts? Well, because uh, the uh, our Father. Well, the first A is adoration. So, hallowed be Thy name, holy be Your name. And then uh, the next one is uh, contrition, meaning sorry for our sins. So, uh, forgive us our sins. And then uh, the third is uh, T, thanksgiving. Well, can be thanking for thy kingdom come. So it's thanking the Lord for coming to our kingdom. And the S, well, S is supplication. And uh, supplication uh, would mean, of course, our prayers of petitions. We ask uh, our Lord for our personal intentions. So, dito, Acts A, C, contrition, T, thanksgiving, S, supplication. Um, but, um, of course, uh, among these four uh, forms of prayers, I'm sure that you know what is the most uh, popular form of prayer. Alam nyo? Well, uh, the most uh, common and popular prayer is, of course, petition or supplications. Hindi po ba? Karamihan sa atin ay... Uh, prayers of uh, petitions. May hiling tayo sa Panginoon. Kaya ito ay hindi lamang hiling, ano, hiling, kundi hiling ng hiling, sabi nga. Uh, well, of course, that is okay. Ako rin po ay, uh, ay uh, most of my prayers are uh, prayers for petitions. 
But then we should forget, should not forget also the other forms of prayer, and that is especially thanksgiving, thanking the Lord for blessings that we have received. Alimbawa tayo, well, we thank the Lord that uh, we are still healthy, that uh, uh, we are still strong. So, uh, uh, sana sabihin natin sa ating mga katabi, uh, salamat, uh, malakas ka pa, salamat, buhay ka pa. Yan. <clears throat> so, Thanksgiving, let us not forget that, uh, dear brothers and sisters. Now, um, the Lord's Prayer is also very powerful. So, when we uh, pray to, to God, let us not forget this uh, prayer, uh, the only prayer that Christ had taught us. I remember the story about uh, a certain anthropologist, a Norwegian anthropologist, who was uh, uh, going on a research somewhere in Africa. And um, he was uh, riding on a canoe or a boat. And um, as he was going to his uh, destination, you know what happened? The river became stronger, the current. And then, you know, as the boat went on rapidly, to his horror, he saw that he was actually near uh, already a waterfall that's very high. And uh, with that boat uh, rapidly uh, going, uh, he was really scared. He was really, uh, he was really uh, very much uh, afraid because it would mean sure death. At alam nyo po, naisipan niya na um, manalangin. At uh, ang kanyang dasal ay yung our father. So the, when it was about to, the boat was about to fall into the waterfalls, he jumped out of the, uh, of the, uh, the boat. And, you know, he was still being carried by the water, but he kept on praying the our father. And according to him, he gained a stronger, uh, stronger uh, energy, uh, bigger energy. And he was able to swim across the river and was able to uh, save himself. So, um, you know, uh, he said, this was really a very, very memorable a thing that happened to me. It is uh, uh, a very uh, important, uh, uh, important happening in my life. And so, alam po ninyo, uh, siya po ay pumunta sa mga iba't ibang mga uh, skwelahan and even in offices and was giving testimony about the importance and the power of our Lord's our Father. My dear brothers and sisters, well, I'm sure that there are also others who have this experience of the strength that uh, God gives us when we pray uh, to Him. And many people have been helped because of this prayer of our Lord, the uh, Lord's Prayer. So, um, the message for each and every one of us in the light of our gospel, our Lord teaches us the Lord's Prayer for the Our Father. And so, let us always remember uh, this prayer and to pray also. And as somebody said, well, prayer is the strength of people and the weakness of God. The more you pray, the more God becomes weaker and gives in to our petitions. 
So, brothers and sisters, let us not forget the prayer our Lord taught us, the Our Father, or the Lord's Prayer. Amen.